That is some interesting here. There's certainly some very interesting hairstyles going on <laughs> Bashonen? Are you misspelling Bashitten? That. This, this, this one above Kiryu's head looks terrible. Looks like the worst wig I've ever seen. Yeah, I know, Grant. I was, I was making about Bashitten because it's shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, curious san hmm? Well, if it isn't Kamoji. That hairstyle is ridiculous. I... What? Look like you just stole your Nan's wig. That's... That's what that style is. Thanks again for before. So this is where you do your thing, huh? A punch-out artist, was it? Yep. That's right. That's me. That's my job. Couldn't make much sense of Bacchus' ex explanation. What is it to you? What is it you do exactly? Oh, rules are simple. You know, you knock me down or knock me out, and the prize money's yours. Prize is double the stakes. Customer puts up ten thousand, and if they win, I give them twenty thousand. Half of that's the upfront fee, so we only need to fork over the other half. Pick out pay Kamoji an amount equal to the entry fee in advance. The time limit is sixty seconds. If you get knocked down or knocked out, you lose. If you hit the challenger, you also lose. Mm. I see. So people actually put money on this. Frustrated drunks. There you. There. There's your best bet. Come at you in a nice straight line, easy to dodge. Punches are garbage too. I advertise to everyone I see. So most challengers are guys looking to blow off steam by hitting someone, and not tough guys looking to win some cash, huh? Oh hey, if you want to, if you was interested, why don't you try it out? We could bill you as my apprentice. Mm. Why would I want to be your apprentice? Mm. Well, the truth is, nobody's ever took me down before. Words getting around, so I get more gawkers and less challenges. With an apprentice, I reckon that'd change. They'd want to see if they could take you on, so I'd get tons of challenges again. Does anyone park in this area? <laughs> Makes sense, but I don't take too kindly to being made anyone's apprentice or pupil. I told Bacchus the same. Well, if it has any pointers to give you, if I have any point, if I has any pointers to give you, I'll be sure to let you know. I make a pretty good teacher. Mm, strange guy. But this Kamoji seems like the real deal. I could learn about fi about that fighting style. Sure, why not? Tell me how this goes. Alrighty, check out this price list. Customers get to choose one of those courses. 10 course, 100,000 course, a million, 10 million, 100 million. Some of those are pretty pricey. Mm. Plenty of people rolling in cash around here, so I figured I might get lucky. One guy picked the million yen course once. Mm. Well, very well if you win, but if you have to pay out if you lose, right? That's a pretty big gamble. Eh. Yep. That's why I turned down the million yen guy. He looked a bit too tough to risk it. That's why even, then why even have the, those courses? It attracts challenges. No way a homeless guy the likes of me could pay out, right? Anyways, uh, you, you don't seem keen to earn that way, so Bacchus' plan sounds best. Bacchus had a plan? What was it? He, we start by looking for a, a 10,000 10, mark. Then if that works out, we shoot for 100,000. Dodge our way through another bout, and we set our sights at a cool million. <sighs> He's dream making thinks that'll work. I suppose 10 million and 100 million yen would be next. No way anyone will take up on a bet that high. Mm -hmm. You never know, though, right? Uh, don't knock it till you try it. So who's out? To, who who pays out the prize money? You, of course. Kiryu San has got to make sure that you've covered if you if you ever lose. If everything goes smooth, the money will come flying in. Fine. All right. Let's start with the ten thousand course. Just give me a shout when you're all ready with the money. Don't slack off in your training, neither. Okay, I'll give this a go. I'll give this a go. Mm -hmm. Uh. You got the money? And using tip-top shape. Ready to drum up some business? Yes, I am ready. Let's do it. I will. Okay, I'll hang on to that 10,000. Got some of these hairstyles. 
Some of them look okay, but that one with the person in the suit looks truly abysmal. I mean, they all look like they're from an anime, to be fair. Pretty given that it's like 80s in Japan. It was Japanese more in the late 80s. Oh, cool, Tokyo Rose. That's a very interesting little fact. They got wild with their hair. Oh, I bet. I bet. Yeah, Gact was, uh... It's an interesting thing. I'm okay if they never include Gact again in Final Fantasy. You knock him down even once in 60 seconds and you double your money. Yeah, give me a shot at this. Well, for you never ask. First, the entry fee. Ugh, I'm gonna pretend. I'm enjoy pretending you're the guy at work I can't stand. I get to blow off steam and I get to make a buck. Hi. Okay, good luck. Take a look at the rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got this right, Kiryu san? Alrighty, let's fight. Very scary when they come at you. Very scary when they dive at you like that. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna get me. I can't let a blow. You're pretty good at dodging. Still, next says gonna be good. Thank you. Tell me I can't fly a plane. They tell me I can't be a doctor. I think I can do anything I want. Hi. Good fight. Too bad luck wasn't on your side. Uh, come on back and try again. You'd like to visit 80s Japan? Well, you got a couple of roadblocks in your way. <laughs> First, you gotta get to Japan. Then, you also have to invent a time machine. Now, that that's... That's the real roadblock, but I think we can get around it. Or, alternatively, you could pay an entire town to pretend they're in the 80s. That might work, too. Fine work, Kiryu-san. He was a slippery eel. The challenger seemed satisfied, too. Uh. Yeah, it turned out all right. Bet winning is a pretty thankless job in this case, though. One thing you can try is evading at the last possible moment. Pulling that off's a great feeling. Mm. Dodging at the last minute, huh? X in time with enemy attacks to build up the heat gauge. Okay. That's good advice, Komo Komoji. Much appreciated. <laughs> Let's do this again sometime. About the winnings, uh, we split the entry, 10,000 entry fee, and I'll give you back your stake. So that's about 15,000 yen for you. Nice, thank you. Mm. We split the winnings. Consider it overhead and less on fees. Pretty fair if you ask me. Next up is 100,000. I'll be waiting. Okay. Oh, we've got some fighting. Men in black are after us again. Ow.
dodge, pra practicing a bit of dodging at the last second there. Doing the men in black is a lot more lucrative than the dodge fights. That's true. That is true. Right, are we in the right place? Senryu Avenue? Oh fuck, is that the men in black again? Dude, what's up with the men in black right now? Tokyo, do you ever feel like you've gone back in time when you, uh, when you, when you see this game? <laughs> or you're just like, this is stupid. <laughs> this is really dumb. Erotic video right now. Is this going to be safe? Watch videos of a varied cast of gorgeous girls. As you meet these women out in the city under certain conditions, new video content will become available. What is this? What is this shit? Hello there. Welcome to Gandhara. We charge you 800 yen friend for one view. All right. Give me, give me a second. I think I gotta double check. I gotta double check just in case. Oh, it looks like they're all locked. Oh no, we've got one. We've got Miku Abendo. I gotta check for you all. So then we can watch it again if it's if it's if if it's okay, you know. I like how there's a tissue thing. So it's a girl in a bathtub. In a bikini. I mean, this is about as raunchy as... I mean, she's rubbing suds on her boobs. I mean, it's about as raunchy as like a... As like a... As like a twitch. Is the tissues all used up? Ah. Phew. <laughs> we just... He <I>, <laughs> just... He just... You just go into like a place, jack off, and then <laughs> just go fired, bro. I did it for the achievement. A moment, please. Mm -hmm. Huh? What is it? Can I ask you a few questions? <sighs> Stop the search, huh? What's your name, and what do you do for a living? Uh, fine. The name's Kirio. I'm in a hurry here. Well, uh, we've had some trouble around these parts lately. Just to be sure, would you mind if I checked your belongings? What? Have my things got to do with uh, any trouble around here? Relax, it's just a precaution. Can you show me what you're carrying? Uh, this could take forever. Might as well show them what I have and get this over with. Okay, you win. I'll show you then. What should I hand over? can have uh, this. How about this? Huh? This is about as safe as it gets. Doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Uh. Here, take it back. I've got nothing to hide. I see. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Give me a break. <laughs> Officer's like, staying down there. Cops like you are always abusing your power. You never stop to think about how much of an inconvenience this is for regular citizens. Yeah. Well, that may be for some, for other police officers, but not for me though. I'm only doing this because it's all I'm good for. Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, never mind about me. I'm the one asking the questions here. Huh? It, it does make it. It does make sense. Uh, I was sure you had something big on you. I got a nose for these things. <laughs> well, I guess your nose failed you this time. I'm not so sure. My sixth sense tells me I'll find something huge if I dig deep enough. I don't know what to say. I'm a pro at stopping searches. Until I'm sure you're not a threat, I'm gonna keep questioning you. Okay? Watch forever. Not okay. Oh, come on, Kuyu san, be a good sport. Won't take long. I just want to be sure. <sighs> I give up. Fine, have it your way. Just keep it short. All right, thank you. My name is Officer Kikuchi. 
I'll see you around. Very chill. You got to, you got to know the officer. Stop and search Kikuchi. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time. Build your friendship with Officer Kikuchi and see what happens. Down over there. What? Come on, I want to arrest you, please. Wow. Oh, he's gone. Man, he was there and then he went. Like magic. <laughs> Bunny girl. Wow, I won't lie for a second. I thought that character had three boobs. I thought the... For like a second, I thought the armpit was a boob. Like two boobs and like a tiny side boob. I was like, whoa, what the heck? Free girl, free boob bunny girl? Senrio Avenue. Is it just like a regular Senrio Avenue? Oh, this Senrio Avenue. We did a lot of disco. Ah, shit. Hmm? Is that? Isn't that Mina? The boyfriend wants to know how she's been making so much cash. <laughs> Look out, she's frozen in place. Oi. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. Are you a customer? Nani. What? A customer? Mm. Don't tell me this girl's really selling herself. Yeah, I did this last playthrough, but I don't. I, I think she sells underwear. I can't super remember, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess not. Did you want something? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'll try to keep the conversation going and see if I can figure out what she's doing. Uh, This is all new to me. Uh, sorry, this is all new to me. I don't know where to begin. Could you tell me how this works? Oh, so you're a first-time customer. Well, that's why you were uh, so tentative. Um... Sorry, the first time can be awkward and embarrassing. <laughs> I think I managed to get the ball rolling. This girl's a little less wary, too. <laughs> well, just seducer is fine. So, uh, what would you like? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, well, top or bottom? Which do you want? Daddy. Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Is this girl talking about position? Sounds like she's giving customers the option of being on the top or bottom. I have to keep her up the charade to figure out if she's really selling her body. Uh, top or bottom? Which do you prefer? Uh, middle? What happens if you pick middle? I said to explain to my wife why I had a Japanese girl in bathtubs on my screen. <laughs> It's all right, I'll just go to me next time we do a bathtub. The Japanese girl with bathtubs on screen. Middle. I'll go between and take the middle. <gasps> middle? There's no middle. Oh, I guess there won't be. <laughs> uh, I'm not professional, but I'm pretty sure there's no middle. Then I'd like, uh, uh, bottom. Uh, I'll take the bottom. Bottom? My panties then, just a moment. Huh? 
Your panties. Pardon? You said you wanted bottom, right? Uh, well, yeah, I did, but why your underwear? I, I don't get it. I'm sorry, if I misunderstood, but I'm I'm a bu Burusira girl. Burusira. Busera? Mm. Busera? It's not a word I know. Short for bu Buruama? Uh, Serafuku? You know, bloomers and sailor suits? Bur bur how do you say that? Barus? Buruma? I guess Burusera. Burusera skills sell gym clothes, school uniforms, and lots of other stuff they've worn before. In my case, though, I just sell my underwear. Oh, this rem oh my god, this reminds me about it. Um, Jazz was selling uh, some old shoes of hers that she, or like, I think it was like some old shoes or something like that that she didn't want anymore on, I think it was Spock or something like that. And someone wanted to buy them, but they wanted to know if she'd worn them before. <laughs> and I was like, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> what are these people asking you? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I was like, I was like, I, but I also like, I mean, like, you know, how much you sell them for the start with. <laughs> if someone wants to buy expensive shoes that you've worn so they can smell them. Then go for it. Yeah, if once you realize that the, it's a sex thing, then you just put the price up. Then you're like, well, now it's gone up a bit. In my case, though, I just sell my underwear. You sell your used underwear? Who would buy that? And why? Huh? Why? Oh, I guess men use them to do pervy things. What else would it be? I don't really want to think about it. Okay, I get it. Uh, you were doing business with men who get excited over your second-hand skivvies. D -d -d don't judge. You're the one who's here trying to buy it. Yeah. No, actually. If you're not going to buy my underwear, then go away. I don't want to stand here talking to a pervert. What? <laughs> hey. Huh. Great. She totally shut down now. I'm the adult here. I better set her straight. Um... What's wrong with being a pervert? <laughs> What's wrong with being a pervert, bro? What's wrong with being a pervert? Huh? Sure, a guy who gets excited you ever used underwear might be a pervert. So what? Did it cause you any trouble? That'll teach it. That'll teach it. People all love their kinks. Who are you to shame another person for what they enjoy? Oh, bro. That's like all I've got in life. Don't take that away from me. Yeah. Nobody has the right. You can't judge someone just because they don't conform to society's standards of sexual normalcy. Boom. Kiryu laying down the law. Whoa, really lost it there. <laughs> I think she's repulsed. <laughs> Better straight set her straight some other way. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't respond to that one. It's just, it's just, to her, that was like, right, okay, so there's just this creepy pervert now who's just shouting at me because I called him a pervert, basically. It's like, truth, but also you're sick. Um, you should <laughs> just ignore someone. Can you admit you sell your underwear? You're right, I am a pervert. I'll buy your panties right now. Would you admit to other people that you sell underwear? Can you be proud of that? Huh? Oh, I thought she was me. I thought I was saying, can you admit it to me? Just, just say it. Which, which, you, which she already did, so I didn't really know what this was going to get. Can you tell your parents, siblings, friends, or your boyfriend that people purchase your panties? Wait a minute, Kira. You just told people not to kink shame. What? I guess her kink, though, I guess her kink isn't selling used panties. She's selling it for money. I think that's not her kink. So I guess that doesn't go against his little thing you're saying. To Chan, right? Your boyfriend is worried about you. Huh? How do you know about Tachan? Actually, he put me up to this. He thought maybe you were selling your body. He wanted me to find out for sure. Tachan thought I would do that? I would never sell myself. Right. You're not selling your body. What you're doing is... What's that word again? Buru Sarah? Whatever you're marketing, your underwear or your body. I think they still both about selling your sex. Well, can you proudly tell your boyfriend you do Buru Sarah? I... I don't... Hmm? I don't... I don't want to do this either. 
Well, well done. We made a girl cry. Um, listen, I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you. Yeah, don't get emotional on me. I hate that. Shut that shit down. No emotions, ever. Plantive. Um, listen, I'm sorry for getting all emotional here. No, it's all right. I might have been too harsh. I didn't give you the chance to explain. And getting emotional is not my kink. <laughs> I like true, pure neutrality. That's what gets me going. Honestly, I never wanted to do this Bruxera thing. Was it for money? Some of us are in it for that, but not me. I mean, it is nice having money, but it doesn't make me happy at all to, to buy things of money I got by selling my own panties. I guess not. I'm just so afraid of Sachiko. Mm -hmm. Sachiko? She runs things for all the Burusira girls in the area. Sachiko figures out where we should be standing on the street. She also takes care of things if there's any trouble with a customer. In return, we all have to submit a part of our earnings to Sachiko once a month. Damn, you've got a fucking panty, uh... Pimp. Panty pimp. Panty pimp. <laughs> panty pimp. Uh, so there's a girl overseeing the operation. A panty pimp. <laughs> the old pee pee. Can't you tell Sachiku you want to quit? Yeah. It's impossible. As long as she's around, I, I can't quit doing this Brucera thing. <sighs> the high school girls around here are all Sachiko's friends. If I tried to stand up to her or quit, they'd all bully me. So you can't quit, huh? This is all sounding awfully familiar. I, I don't want to sell my underwear anymore. Mm. This is getting pretty complex. Her boyfriend won't be able to solve this on his own. Mina, do you know where I could find this Sachiko? I do, but why would you want to know? I don't want to go back to your boyfriend and tell him that you were peddling your panties. So I thought maybe I could persuade Sachiko to quit running this sketchy Burasira ring. Eh? What? Really? You'd be sure to... You'd do that? It would be wonderful if that worked, but I'm not sure Sachiko can be persuaded so easily. It's worth a try. Where can I find Sachiko? I think she's doing her Burasira shift near the hotel district. She's a long-haired girl wearing... Sakurazaki Academy's uniform. Long-haired girl near the hotel district. Got it. I don't know how Sakurazaki Academy uniforms. Unicorn, though. Oh, I guess not. Sakurazaki... Sakurazaki's uniform is a white collar and a blue scarf. White collar and blue scarf. Chiku sometimes wears a cardigan, but I'm not sure if she's wearing it today. A long-haired girl in a school uniform with a white collar. I think I remember this bit. She might be wearing a cardigan. Yes. I was going crazy because I, I can't... I couldn't talk to anybody about this Burasera thing. Please help me. I think I vaguely remember this, where you go around asking these girls if they sell their underwear, and they're like, What the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Because they're like... <laughs> I think you, keep, like, you can get the wrong people, and they're like, What the fuck? Ooh, food. Let's pop in for a bit of cheeky foodies. Review the meme. Okay. <laughs> That's really good. I like that one. <laughs> What covenant, what covenant would that be? We are the washing machine covenant. I rate that highly, I'd rate that. 9 out of 10, nearly perfect meme for me. Ooh, I would like some chassis, I'm gonna say chassis ramen because I'm worried about saying that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about it. Thank you. The 
Order of the Warm Cycle. Oh, that's a good one. That's very good. Damn. Hotel District, right. To the Hotel District. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Disco City Boy. Alright, we gotta go this way. Dan Dan. Hamburger fast food, Dan Dan. Saying what wrong? Well, I'm not gonna say it because I say it wrong. What? Oh shit! Yeah. Christ, that man. There's so many girls standing around. I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this one. It's a high school girl. Mm. Could this be Sachiko? Yes? Is something the matter? Shut down your Burasera ring. Oi. Hey, Sachiko. Shut down your Burasera ring. Oh? Well, well, I wonder who put you... Oh, we did get the right one. Nice. I wonder who put you up to this. <laughs> huh. So, you're the Sachiko. The Burasera ring leader. <gasps> Burasera. Yes, I'm Sachiko. Is there a problem with that? Uh. Yeah. A big one. You're forcing girls to work in the Burusera ring, and it's making some of them miserable. Miserable? Oh, they make a lot of money selling used clothes. Why would why would that make them miserable? Nani. What? The customers want what we offer, and we're not breaking any laws. Why shouldn't we do what we do? Uh, it's a health hazard? <laughs> it's a health hazard? Think about it. Used underwear is unsanitary. Oh, but isn't that exactly why men buy it? Hmm. Besides, if you're worried about hygiene, I'm only selling underwear that I put on after taking a shower. So there you have it. Oh. Ugh. Uh, think of your parents? What if your parents were to find out about your Burisera ring? And think of the pain they would feel. This is wrong. How could you be so cruel to bring up my parents? Huh? My parents are long gone. I have no one who would be hurt if they knew what I would do. So my Burisera business doesn't present a problem for anyone. I... I didn't know that, but... <laughs> Psych! Are you seriously that gullible? My parents are fine. Oh, damn it. I want to fucking... I'm going to body slam her on a fucking fence now. Nani. What? Yeah, her eyes are ice cold, man. You can't even see for a lie that far-fetched. Good job getting a school by a school kid, big Mr. Adult Man. <sighs> Ooh, Nani. You're doing a selling your sex. You're fooling around in the world of adults. When kids play with fire, they're going to get burned. Oh, well... Well, I haven't gotten burned yet. We'll see what happens when I do. Daddy. What? Are you finished? I'm busy. If you aren't buying, I'd like you to leave. <sighs> She's not budging. I guess I'll let Mina know. Okay. All right, well, that went well. Oh, hello. Uh. May I help you? Hmm? Uh, Sachiko Shan, oh, Sachiko Shan, your panties were so sweet, Sachiko Shan. Oh, God. I, uh, I'm glad to hear that. Did you come back for more? Sachiko Shan, I love you. What? Sachiko Chan, I love you, Sachiko Chan. Love, 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 Sachiko Chan, Sachiko Chan, I love you, Sachiko Chan. Love, Sachiko Chan, I love you, Sachiko Chan, I really, really do. Yes, it's well, now she's getting burned. Um, you're freaking me out here. 
Chachiko Chan. I love you, Chachiko Chan. Is this all he says? He's like a fucking. It's like an NPC that's broken. Let's spend our life together, Sachiko Chan. I love you. I, uh, I can't do that. Huh? Oh dear, he's got a knife. Yeah. <laughs> I made up my mind, Sachiko Chan. I already decided I'm spending the rest of my life with your panties, Sachiko Chan, forever. You're really scaring me. I love you, Sachiko Chan. We'll be together forever, Sachiko Chan. No! Somebody help, please! I... I can't, uh... Was she about to turn into a Super Saiyan? What's happening here? <laughs> I, thought was, I thought she was going Super Saiyan then. <laughs> this is about to turn into the, uh... Our, our Robocop remake. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... The dick shooting scene. You've seen that one? It's very, very funny. It's, oh God. Just armies and armies of men with their penises out getting shot in the dick. It's ridiculous. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's, if you've never seen it, when you get the chance to, I would recommend the our Robocop remake the penis shooting scene. <laughs> if you've ever seen the original Robocop, then it's very good. If you haven't seen the original Robocop, it's not quite as good. But if you've seen Robocop, it's, it's very funny. It's also just, I just love the face he makes. <laughs> oh, and he shoots him in the dick. Oh, man. It's, it's really well made as well. That's like the shocking bit. Uh, it's all right. They're all just going to stop pouring over the walls now. Hua, hua, come on, baby. <laughs> What's the? <laughs> hua, hua, come on, baby. Beautiful. I love that. Ah? <laughs> huh? Who the? You. Don't get in my way. Sachiko Chan is mine. Knives are very dangerous. Ow. Oh God. Pokemon thing worth watching? Yeah, it was pretty good actually. Uh, the the Arceus bit was pretty interesting. Uh, are you alright? I I'm okay. I told you. Oh no! What a what a strange no, Grand. No. <laughs> well, it's forever that then like that. Tiom, the only Tiom. It's one of the best parts about the quotes is the when they mistyped actually. Tiom. Uh, I told you right. You played a fire and got burned. Um, 
why did you help me? After all the horrible things I said to you, I would never just stand around while a high school girl got assaulted in front of me. Tiom. I'm pretty sure that's already a quote, actually. In the quote thing, isn't it? Yeah, it was definitely surprisingly lucid. That's... I don't know. So chico san Mina! I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. I'm quitting your Buracera group. I'm really sorry. Ugh. Please, let her quit. I'm her boyfriend, and don't bully her for quitting your group. I hate to admit it, but you were totally right. The Buracera business is too risky a game for high schoolers to be playing. The old Buracera business, eh? I never even thought about a girl like Mina being in danger from something I put together. I'm gonna disband this Buracera biz right now. Oh, you are? Really? <laughs> yes, really. I'm sorry for everything, Mina. Yes, yeah, Tachan, I don't have to sell my panties anymore. <laughs> awesome, Mina-chan. Thanks for being honest with me. Wise decision. You made that day. Thanks. I just don't ever want to be that frightened again. There's no need to thank me. Hm. Got it. Besides, <laughs> I think you should only no, you should only show your underwear to someone you really care about. <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay. Hm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now. See ya. I don't want those cold, dead eyes anywhere near me. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be on that list. Jesus. I just got off the Yakuza list. Sorry. <laughs> Smack right into them. Ooh, we can invest some money back into ourselves. Who do you gotta begin right after an enemy breaks through it? This build can only be used when calm on the first heat bar. Oh, right, okay. It's quite a handy move, that. Just the amount of heat loss when you take damage. Just the rate the heat drop over time. Who's curious maximum health? Yeah, let's go with that one. I think more health would be a good idea. 30 million. Weave away from the enemy during a rush combo. Hold a movement direction and press X during a square attack. Ooh, that's interesting. Intimidate the enemy to fill the heat. Uh, Increase the amount of heat gauge rise when you attack an enemy. Reduce the rate the heat gauge drops over time. Oh, I like that. Invade an enemy's attack before it lands. Uh, press triangle of a wall behind you when enemy attacks. That's a cool one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Weave away during, an, uh, during a, a rush combo would be very handy. There's times when I get stuck in the combo and I'm like, I really need to get out of this. Yeah, uh, you, you went to see the boss to say that you wanted out. And um, when you went, the the boss was busy. So this guy was like, oh, I'll, I'll hear you out instead. And he was being a dick. And he's the guy that set us up. So he was like, ah, you can't leave. And then, I, I don't know, something happened. And he was like, well, whatever, beat him up because he's not a part of us anymore. And he was like, oh, I was waiting for you to say you weren't a part of us. 
And so then he started fighting them all. And then he got all the way to the top, fought the guy again. And then the boss was like, well, you did say that he wasn't a part of the group, didn't you? <laughs> and then it made him cut the... It was weird, actually, how it happened. But yeah, we're, we're fine. You know, never take never take Sammy seriously. He on me. Prove me wrong, to Sammy. Prove me wrong. From the cafe, Blend closed all of a sudden. And being open all night was a huge deal. You hear anything about it? Think the guy running the place just skipped town? Mm. Nah, they just moved shop. Wait, that guy's a pimp on the right? I thought the guy on the left had been a pimp. They're across from Macball behind Theatre Square. There's a new sign up. Oh, uh -huh. really? But wait, why bother moving if it's only a few blocks away? Whoa. They got chased off by those guys. Tachibana Real Estate. I hear they didn't leave the guy much choice. Same with all the other tenants in that building. A lot of them even moved shop or just shut it for good. Mm. Oh, seriously? That's a relief. I guess I'll have to hit them up behind, behind Fierda Square next time. Where's Fierda Square? It's Fierda Avenue. Ah, there's Fierda Square. Behind Fierda Square? Was that like by there, I guess? Men in black. Yeah, no, the Basculin was like a new Basculin, and the D was a new D, I think. This, the description of how they describe the Basculin is hilarious. But they describe those as new evolutions. So, I guess they count as new Pokemon. The Growlithe is hilarious. Oh. So that, that's like a cute Growlithe. We've got cool Growlithe and cute Growlithe. Oh. <laughs> Men in black. Hey, there's that dude that always kicks our ass. Let's get him. I reckon I, reckon I could do another one of those dodge, dodge fights. Oh. Again? No, I'm talking with this guy. I'm talking with this guy right now. I'm not doing a dodge fight. Hmm? <sighs> you can't, can't be even slacking off your training? You have no greater abilities enough to select this prize level. Oh. You don't get more training, and you might as well wipe your back out of the money. Okay, all right, all right. Well, they've gone. Like magic, they've gone. Right, to the theater square. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Quickest way there. Probably up and around. Boo 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 bo
Behind Theatre Square. I like these movie posters. Sorry. Shut up your whole fat ass and open your wallet. Whoa, what? Uh? I'm telling you, I can't pay my dead broke right now. Don't give me that bullshit, tubs. I watched your sorry ass come out of that soap land last night. What? Yeah, then you march your little buddies around from club to club, drinking till dawn. Living pretty large for a broke guy, ain't you? You were spying on me? You're goddamn right. You know how many different lenders you dicked over, pork chop? It's collection. <laughs> Poor man. Uh, and your ass is getting beat. Female collections agent? That's pretty unusual. Sounds like a real ball buster, too. <laughs> <laughs> She's terrifying as ever. Bacchus? What, she a friend of yours? So there. You got that right. Sure, wouldn't make an enemy of her. That there's Miss Tatsu, the debt collector. She's a legend in Yokohama. Mm. Miss Tatsu, huh? She takes on the jobs that make other collection boys run away crying. She always, always gets the cash. <laughs> Is that the Burasuma lady growing up? Time skip, yeah. Her style's bold, blood, and brutal. Add to that, my to a bulldog's own tenacity, and you get one mean bite, my boy. Mm. I think she teaches us another fighting style now. You seem awfully familiar with her methods. This the voice of personal experience? <laughs> <laughs> you got me, boy. I was this close to getting my face covered in a... Uh, caved in over a silly little dead a while back. Why am I not surprised? Hey. Oh, hey, look there, boy. We're about to see what makes our lady Miss Tatsu so incredible. <laughs> you think you can get the money out of me? I'd like to see you try. <laughs> you boys and your tiny toys. You think your little butter knife there is going to stop me? Mm. Drop the tough axe, sugar tits. Sugar tits? <laughs> sugar tits. Well, that's, a, that's a line. I put a dozen dudes in the hospital with this baby. You got a tear stained apology. Sugar tits. What the fuck? I've got a tear stained apology ready for me, though. I'll hear you out. That's my line, sugar moobs. Oh, shit. She flew it by back. Sugar moobs. <laughs> sugar moobs. Set the part about hearing you out since you'll be too dead. Now make your move. Fucking sugar, sugar moves. Sugar tit sounds far more appealing than sugar moves. <laughs> That's for sure. Ah, pulling a weapon on a woman? That's going too far. I'm stopping this. No, no need, boy. Just wait. Hmm? No blinking now, boy. Keep those eyes on Miss Tatsu. And showtime. Broke his arm, man. Definitely. That's rad. <laughs> Evolved. You fucking big. That guy. That guy's gone. Whoa, those moves. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that beatdown gave you a few ideas. Uh, yeah, more than a few. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, boy. Hope you're ready to put him into practice. Mm -hmm. What? Look over yonder. Looks like our bad guy here has got some friends. <laughs> What's the... What is the guy on the right dressed in? Oh, shit. Jinkun's getting beat to hell. He paid the tab last night. So what do we say we pay back by sucker punching this crazy bitch for him? Is he a bikey gang outfit? Oh, okay. Hear that, boy? Those dim bulbs are planning on getting the drop on the little lady from behind. Sounds that way. Lovely crowd. 
They're a perfect match for the sort of scum that'd pull a knife on a woman. Why did you give him a little demo of what's a man supposed to be? Oh, and no saying this doesn't involve you this time. Yeah. I wouldn't. She can clearly defend herself, but there's a whole pack of them. I'm jumping in. Yes. Yes, that's my boy. Keeping chivalry alive. And working in a fine bit of training in the process. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Boy. You guys plan to sucker punch that woman in the back? You got an eavesdropping problem? Damn straight we are. You think I want that psycho bitch to see me coming? I'll drop her before she can get her claws out. I don't care how tough she is. You don't hit what you don't hit a woman. And needing a group to do that is just pathetic. You call yourselves men? Uh. Where's that? That suit he's given he's he's got is making my eyes hurt. The fuck did you just say? You got a big mouth for the death wish, pal. Yo, we're dropping this guy before we take care of the broad. The broad. Goons. Switch to B style. B style. Press square while near a large weapon showing a mark to automatically pick it up and swing it. This is called an auto weapon attack. Okay. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Beast holding out one to guard that you withstand enemy attacks with a resist guard. I, I seem to remember when I played this before that I didn't like this style very much. You're protected against attacks coming from any direction. Altering your defense by equipping gear in the pause menu further reduces the damage you take with resist guard. Be sure to equip any gear you find. Christ. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, can I, can I, thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is, just fucking, just trying to, trying to stand there and get my fucking shit kicked in. No, you just you just go to the items to heal. You don't need a, a healing style. Eh? Uh, what is this guy? All of us beating on him, and it's just like he doesn't even feel it. You want more? Uh? Yeah, I'm not leaving till at least punch that uppity bitch out. Well, well, if it isn't Porky's little friends, I saw you boys crawl in the bars last night. Uh, but I must be hearing things, uh, because it sounded like you said something about punching a bitch out. If you're interested, this bitch is ready to go. No, no, no ma'am. Uh, that's just crazy. <laughs> what kind of man would punch a lady? <laughs> With a group? So pathetic. <laughs> right. Now pick up your sad sack line over there and get the hell out of my sight. I got what I came here for. Got no use for him now. Y yes, ma'am. Bacchus? Been a while? Yeah. Yeah, same old Miss Tatsu, as strong as a bear on bear roids. <laughs> bear roids. You want to talk, old man? So, you gonna introduce me to my knight in the shining armor here? What? Oh, right, sir. This is my latest friend, a real diamond in the rough. Name's Kiryu. Mm. Kiryu, huh? I remember the name. If you've got Bacchus singing your praises, you've gotta be pretty tough. Yes. Yes, the boy's here, a future champion. I'd stake my career on it. Okay. Now I'm seeing what this is. 
You're thinking Kiryu here's your ticket to a fast stack of cash, which you'll then use to pay me back so we get to stay friends. Easy, Tiger. I told you it'd take a while, but you'll get it all back. Oh, and uh, speaking of favors, why don't you train the boy here? Wait, what? Do I seem like some pathetic, patient little teacher type to you? Sorry, no can do. No. Nah, don't be like that. We both need him to get stronger. Once he's a champ, we'll be rolling in dough. Besides, I know you're secretly the doting type. He'll make a champion a hell of a lot faster with you beating him into shape. That means you get paid sooner, see? Win-win. Oi. Quackus, what do you think you're doing here, man? Yeah. Negotiating an apprenticeship with Miss Tattoo for you, obviously. Trust me, you train under and you'll be master of the ring in no time. Yeah, he, this old man just keeps getting this game to shit, basically. Huh? You're insane. I'm in seriously hot water right now. I don't have the time to humor your little fantasy. What? What? You're in hot water too, my boy? Are we talking knife in the ribs here? Because I warned you about that. I'll be lucky if that's all I get. And seriously, what's this obsession with me getting stabbed about? All right, chuckleheads, that's enough. Neither one of you is making a damn bit of sense. I hear where you're coming from, Bacchus. Ditch the championship talk and just say you care about this Kiryu kid. If you're worried about him, own it. <laughs> I love, love the civilian in the background. Look, you did me a solid a minute ago. I can do this. I can do this. Besides, the old man is right that my training will make a real man out of you. Hop a cab out to the pier sometime. I got a train in space there. You train at the pier? You got it. Kind of live there too. Pay me a visit sometime. See for yourself. I think you'll like the digs. Anyway, that was my last job in the city, so I'm headed back to the base. Kiryu, you, uh, me, Pia, training. I'll be waiting. You, me, Pia, training. What's this guy's voice? Uh, that's the voice I gave him. Yeah, I'm, uh, old. He's like an old man, but a training man. Bacchus, uh, I've already got a future planned. I'm sorry, but I can't be a champion. What sport are we even talking about? Boxing? Not that it matters. I can't. Oh, I know that. Doesn't mean I'll stop trying. But uh, I know when to stop making a nuisance of myself. I'll give you some space, champ. It's about time for my afternoon drink, anyway. Good luck with that. I just don't have too many. You think a guy called Bacchus can't hold his wine? <laughs> See you around, boy. Keep those ribs knife-free now. It's good enough. Get out of here. Thanks. I'll be careful. Boom. Didn't expect to get wrapped up in that mess. But at least I didn't come away empty-handed. Now back to looking for leads on Tachibana real estate. 